Hi, this is Meghnath. This is the first session of Oracle tutorial series. In this session, we will learn how to install Oracle database software and let's get started. First thing what I'll do is, I will search in Google for Oracle database software download. So let me copy this and open Google Chrome and let me paste it. So now I'm searching for Oracle database software download and the first link you can notice here that it is oracle.com and let me click on the link. So now I will show you. So the latest database from, my, from Oracle is Oracle Database 2LC Release 2. So this is having standard edition and enterprise edition. So these two are licensed versions from Oracle Database, Oracle. So what I'll do now is for learning purpose, I will be installing, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see here Oracle 11G, which is a previous version of uh, Oracle, Oracle. So you will see uh, standard edition, standard edition one and enterprise edition. And when you scroll down a little bit, you will see Oracle database 11G express edition. So express edition is free from Oracle for learning purpose. And it has some um, less features when compared to standard and enterprise edition. So for us to get started, this is the best one to get installed. So the, although the installation steps will remain same for installing standard enterprise as well as express edition. So let's get started. So all I have to do is Oracle database 11G express edition and my computer is Windows 64 bit. Now let me click on download. So now when I click on download, you will see here I need to. So this is actually released in uh, June 4th, 2014. So uh, Oracle database express edition 11G release 2. So let me click on accept the license and now let me click on this 11G, click on this. Now, so now I need to create an account in case if you don't have account with oracle.com, it's very simple process. You need to click on this create account. You need to provide your Gmail ID and the password you need to select. So I have just done that before. So I'm entering my user ID and password and let me click on sign in. So as soon as you enter your credentials, you will notice here that the download got started and you can see that the size of uh, the size is 317 MB the bottom left hand side so let this get downloaded and notice that the download is almost 50% done so around 40 seconds is left let me pause it okay so now the download is done so download of Oracle Express Edition is done and let me click on this and show in the folder so now you can see here I have done with the downloads. So in my downloads folder, I can see here Oracle and this XE stands for Express Edition and 11.2 stands for 11G and we have Win64, 64, 64 bit. So let me extract this, right click on this, extract to. So let me select here, extract. So let me extract this. So I'm extracting the same folder and now the zip file, zip folder I have extracted, almost done, it's done. Now you can see here, there is a folder disk one inside this and open this. You can see here a setup file and now I will run this. So this is the installation software. So let me right click on this, run as administrator. So now that starts the installation process, you can see here. So it is extracting and the installation process has started. Okay, so now let me click on next. And I need to accept the license, click on next and I will I'm fine with the path uh, C Oracle exe so I'm fine with this path click on next now one point to note here is I need to enter the password so this is the password for my sys account so that I have to use uh, when I log in in future after installation is done so I will be entering a simple password so let me let me put the password as so let me open notepad I'll put very simple password so, so I will enter password as SYS. So my user ID is SYS and password is also SYS. Let me copy this 
and paste it here and paste it here a simple password normally uh, in production databases we'll put some complex one but since we are doing it for learning purpose so so i'm giving a simple password which we have to remember so this is the easy way to remember user ready is sys and password is also sys let me click on next now let me click on install so that will start the installation process so now you can see here it's starting the installation process it might take a couple of minutes so the installation process is started process it's in process it's almost done okay so it almost took around a couple of minutes and it showed the screen so we can see finish so let me click on finish Oracle installation is done in my computer so let's verify whether installation is done or not so let me click on start and you can see all programs let's scroll down a little bit and you can see here Oracle database 11g express and when I click on this so you can see this so these are the things that normally comes up with uh, Oracle 11g express edition so this just now install you can see it showing as new and all I have to do is I need to select on run SQL command line so let me click on run SQL command line let me click on this now that will open this window from where you can type you can create uh, your tables you can uh, create queries you can write queries so first thing what I have to do is I need to log in so a couple of minutes back when I'm installing I gave my sys account password as sys so what I'll do now is I will connect to sys account so let me increase the font size properties font and let me put 24 so that you can see clearly so now I will enter here I'll, I need to connect to sys account so to connect to sys account all I have to do is connect sys as sys dba so this is how I need to connect so I'm connecting to sys account as a dba so click on enter so password I'm typing sys enter so now I'm connected to SQL so from here I can uh, so Oracle is installed in my system and I'm just able to connect to sys account as a DBA account so I can actually continue from here create tables and write queries which are going to proceed in the next tutorial series so that's all for now in the first session hope you are clear with how to install Oracle database so thank you and see you in the next session